Happy New Year, everyone. What a great, oh, I promise there's no good lights in my house. And because I don't want to get the light boxes out, it's either going to be dark and dingy or way too bright. So let's see. We'll just try it this way for now. Anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. Um, New Year's Eve. I know I posted some three top moments for 2017 and I don't know if anyone got a chance to see them, but if so, they're on here as well. You can just kind of see some uh, memories from 2017 for me. But moving forward, I'm really excited to say that, you know, 2018, I've came in with a whole new mentality and idea of what I really want to achieve. You know, I'm 40 now, all the way grown. You know, I got an 18 year old just graduated. 12 year old and 10 year old and I kept saying why am I making excuses to other people for the things that I want to achieve and why am I limiting my beliefs of what I can do just to pacify someone else's ego. And that's a pretty deep concept because so many of us, especially women, um, pacify to other people, not just men, but just people in our life like mothers and sisters and aunts and cousins and you know men and children and we like lower ourselves or put ourselves at a different level and not, don't really go after what we really feel like we deserve because we have this mentality of well, what makes me so special? Why do I deserve that? So that's been really eye-opening these last couple of months as I've been working on building my business, the Crystal Clear Group, and you know, really figuring out what makes me excited and what I feel like my purpose is and what things will make me be able to pursue those and my passions. So and one of those things has been health and fitness. As you know, if you've looked at my page before, if you even just, you know, I have so many countdowns and started losing weight, fit me, fit by 40, everything. And I just really could not figure out what it was going to take for me to lose weight. You know, um, my boyfriend, John, he's almost like 125 pounds since we met. Like he's down to like 6% body fat. Like he's, I've been watching him do the work for, you know, over the last two and a half years and just been thinking like, God, he's got something I don't have because he's very disciplined. He can get the regimen. He's got this time. And I just kept finding excuses of why I couldn't do those same things, which were all fictional because they were just all excuses. They weren't reality based. So then I was talking to my sister, you know, just, you know, we've grown through, you know, we're four years apart. She's moved back to the area. So it's so nice that I get to spend time with her. And we really got into some deep, deep conversations about our real past and how we were brought up. And the insecurities that came from this upbringing. You know, my mom was a single mom most of my life and had to overcome quite a few things to be able to get, you know, make sure that we were safe and taken care of. You know, I come from a big family. I've got, my mom has 14 siblings. She's a twin. There's just, there's stories for days <laughs> about my family. But um, just really figuring out psychologically what was inside of me that was causing me to feel this low self-worth. So she made a statement, which I heard before, but sometimes you have to hear things multiple times from different voices for you to actually like click, uh, was, you know, once you figure out what the reasons are that you're allowing yourself to be overweight, the weight will fall off. And I was like, Psh, I'm just gonna wake up and I'm gonna be skinny, because you know, I'm all about that. Um, <laughs> but it's so true. So I made a commitment, you know, I went out on New Year's Eve, John and I had a wonderful night. We went to a wedding, we came home, watched Dave Chappelle, if you haven't seen the Netflix special, you should check it out. I've watched it twice now. It's so good. I mean, there's some really good truths in there. Um, and if you really listen, he's got some messages. So anyways, I come home, watch Dave Chappelle. I eat two cupcakes that I brought home from the wedding. I'm like, oh, New Year's Day. I'm not doing that New Year, New Me bullshit, but I'm going to pay attention to what I eat. I get up and I find this journal. <laughs> Let me find it for you guys. It used to be my daughter Hallie's. So it has an H on it. It's even got a picture of a a doggy, I think on here. She loves to draw dogs. And I said, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down when I wake up, how I feel and what I accomplished today before. So part of my beginning of my journal talks about, I'm thinking about all the things that I didn't accomplish in 2017, just how frustrated I was, um, you know, and how that was brought about by a quick trip to the bathroom scale. It's not like I expected to wake up in 2018 thinner, but I was disappointed I didn't wake up in 2018 thinner. So I did that. I did a really honest observation with my weight, with my bank accounts, with my credit card balances, like with everything. Really took stock of it. And I said, okay, well, I'll just write on this occasionally and just kind of see what I'm doing. Set some goals. 
instead of setting them as goals, which I do in my business, I said, you know, I see myself, I see a team, I see me regaining control over the insecurities and fears that poison my mind and encourage me to eat against my health. And that was a pretty big one. I mean, I'm going to repeat that. I said, I see myself regaining control over the insecurities and fear that poison my mind and encourage me to eat against my health. I mean, like, that was powerful to me. You know, talk about the relationship with my girls that I see growing. I, I talked about how I see them with their own personal goals and I, the faith that I feel and that this is going to be the year. And if I put five solid years, five years seems like a long time because I'm so impatient. But if I put five years just really busting out these goals with my business, growing my team, growing my Instagram followers, growing my YouTube followers and all the things, growing my brand and getting healthy and fit, I could have the life that I only dreamt was possible. So like I said, I started this on, on New Year's Day, and I'm not a good counter, and I just continued to write. I'm sorry, I started this on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, I was wondering why I said New Year's Eve in January 1st. So New Year's Eve is when I did the first weigh-in, and I just kept moving forward, and every day I'm like, oh, I'll just write half a page, and as I've written and written, and it's amazing how many thoughts have been connected to how my mood of the day is, and how that mood has affected what food choices I've made, and when I triumph, uh, triumph, that mentality of eating to feel better, how much I see the success the next day. And I know they say don't weigh yourself every day, but I am because for me, that's just what I need. I need accountability every day. And I can say that since New Year's Eve and today is January 7th, I have lost 6.8 pounds. I'm eating better. I'm being conscientious of what I'm putting in my body. I am focusing on how I feel. I'm not waking up in the morning and getting on my phone or turning on TV. I'm getting up and listening to inspiration and a lot of Les Brown, Simon Sinek, TED Talks. I'm listening to things that are empowering my mind and my growth and my development. And I'm also making sure that I'm active every day. Um, I downloaded a HIIT, High Interval Intensity Training. I think that's what it stands for, for beginners. And I've been doing that. It's like 20 squats. 20 squats, 10 push-ups, uh, dumbbell lifts, 10 of those, 15 second plank, 20 walking lunges, and 30 jumping jacks. And you do that two to three times. And I'm, I'll be honest, I keep thinking I'm weak, like I'm doing jumping jacks, like leg, 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 and then finally I was like, I can do this. So now it's becoming, you know, second nature plus I'm getting on the treadmill and doing that cardio too. Um, I'm just paying attention to my body. If my body feels sore, then I, no, I'm not doing it, but I'm making sure that I'm eating well. So. Anyways, I just wanted to share that update with you guys, and I hope that you guys keep track. And this is definitely, I think, a lot of the food problems I've been having is because I've never dealt with it intellectually, and I've never dealt with the sentiment behind my eating. So as I continue to take care of that weakness and the things that I have going on there, I'll be able to achieve the things physically. Thank you so much for bearing with this long video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, if you like this video, thumbs up it, subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram at Strive to Be Best Me. You can follow me on Facebook at just Crystal Swearingen. And um, I hope you have a great weekend.